What's going on, good people? Got a quick video for you today. I've had some people that have been asking for a better schematic for how to buy amp your speaker. So, that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna try to draw for you. First thing you need, you need speakers like these Martin Logan Motion 20Is that can be bi-amped with the tweeter, with the woofers. Make sure that any connects between the two are gone because you're going to break your speakers if you buy amp and keep those connectors together. So you got your left speaker. You got your right speaker. And then you have your treble and your bass. Treble, bass. Now you're going to need a few things. You're going to need... On each side, you're gonna need speaker cables, just like this. These are some uh, homemade banana plug speaker wires that I use for Monoprice or 12 gauge. You're gonna need a pair for each. One, two. And you're going to need those to go from your inputs or your speaker binding posts to two amplifiers. And in this case, we are using the Fozzy V3, so we got do a front and a back here. We got the front of it. There's amplifier number one. Here's amplifier number two. To make it easier, we'll uh, draw the back side as well. Do, 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 What do we got here? We got some speaker inputs. More speaker inputs. We got pre-out on here, a pre-out on here. We've got our RCA inputs right there. And RCA. Probably wish I had more colors, but I don't. So two amplifiers. And then next, you need to connect. We got the right side here. Then we got left, right side here, left. You need to connect your speakers. Choose one. One is going to go towards your tweeters up here. A tweeter here. So we'll choose this one, for example. I would go and connect my left and my right. First one, I'd do the right and connect to the right tweeter. Left, I'd go to the left tweeter. Right. Throw up my thumb. Gets in the way right there. Why do I do that? Because if you do one, both of these to the right, and then both of these to the left, uh, you're going to get some crosstalk. That's not how the musicians intended. So one is meant for the tweeter, one is meant for the woofer. Uh, so on this one, I'd go the right. I'd go to uh, this tweeter. The left, I'd go to this tweeter. Same thing on this one, I'll make this one my woofer. Left to the woofer, right to the woofer on the bottom. And then after that, what you need is, oh, where did that go? Um, you need a way to connect these two together. So remember this little dot right here? This is going to be your uh, pre-out. What you're going to do, it's a 3.5 millimeter. You're going to connect one 3.5 millimeter to here. And then you're going to use your RCAs. And you're going to connect it to these RCA inputs on the other one. So this goes from here. And then it splits to there. So you have what you're using there. Just to be clear, there's a cable with a 3.5 millimeter end and an RCA end, one cable that connects the two. And then, oh, I forgot to connect it to the right. Do, 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 do. Those are your speaker cables. Your left, do, 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 do. And you're right, do 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 do. Oh, well, do 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 do. 
Uh, and then from here, you need to connect your source. Now, I'm going to put a DAC in here first. Uh, what I would use to connect my source, so I'll use this iFi V2 DAC, and I would connect the RCA inputs with another RCA cable. RCA cable here, here, connect the two, and then I would connect it to the DAC, only one, or not to the DAC, to the amplifier, the one that has the 3.5 millimeter input into it, because it's this pre-out right there is a fixed pre-out, meaning the volume on this control is going to affect this amplifier. Nothing you push on here is going to make this sound louder. Does that make sense? Ask questions if it doesn't. Um, so I'm going to connect RCA to here. Then I'm going to connect RCA to here. So I have my DAC in place. So my DAC. Do, 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 do. Worst DAC ever. RCAs. Do, do, do. Connects there. And then I have a USB C right here. I'm going to use, in this case, I use an AudioQuest Cinnamon. It's a USB B connected into here. And then with the other end, it terminates in a USB C. I'm going to connect that to my MacBook Pro. So we go do, 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 do. And then the USB-C goes right here, and there's a MacBook Pro. I left it downstairs on accident, but... And that's going to connect right in there on the side. Now, you turn the volume. Now, these are the volumes on the V3. You want to make sure that the volume is turned to the exact same level on both. I turn them both all the way up. And then you'll notice on the iFi, there's a volume control here as well. I actually use that to control it. And I usually keep it at like one fourth. These stay the same all the way up. This one goes about one fourth up. And that controls the volume of what's coming out of your MacBook. The MacBook, I also, now there's gonna be a screen, but I turn the volume all the way up on the MacBook as well. So the only thing that is controlling my setup, at least the volume, is this. The volume on the iFi. So, you want a schematic? This is the most drawing I've done in 20 years. Um, I think that makes sense. If it doesn't, this is free, so you're just going to have to ask questions down in the comments, and I'll help you whatever way I can. Um, but that is how I buy amp my speakers with the Fozzy V3, with two Fozzy V3s integrated amplifiers, with my Martin Logan Motion 20Is. I got my, so the Fozzies, the Martin Logans, I got my iFi DAC V2. I have four speaker cables. One goes, one amp uses speaker cables to go to the tweeter on both. One amp is used to go, well, to the woofer. So this one goes to the woofer. This amp is going to the tweeter. And then I have a 3.5 millimeter to a RCA right left using the pre-out here to the RCA input on the second Fozzy V3. Turn the volume all the way up on the integrated amplifiers. Turn the volume up about a quarter on the iFi V2. And then my music is coming from Apple Music on my MacBook and I have the volume turned all the way up on the MacBook. That's how we do it. Like I said, if you got any questions, ask them down below. Appreciate you watching <laughs> and dealing with my heart. <laughs> this was kind of fun. Okay, have a good day. Enjoy the music. Bye.